Hey everyone, in the last video, we set up our Cisco vManage appliance in GNS3. Uh, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and set up the vBob. Now, in order to do that in GNS3, you can see we have the Viptela Smart, Viptela vManage. We don't actually have a Viptela Bob. What we do have though, is in here somewhere, um, I probably scrolled right by it. Oh, here we go, Viptela Edge. So the VBond is actually just a V-Edge that um, is configured specifically to be a VBond. So in here, we go to import, import appliance, you click on Viptela Smart, open, click next, you have to grab the files, so download them. Um, I'm using version 19.2. And I already did all this because it takes a while. The one thing I wanted to note with the V, v, uh, v Edge though, is you need to go here into configure template and you need to change the HDD to IDE. I believe it comes as V Virtio. Um, it won't work. It'll just, you'll just open up the console, it'll sit there doing nothing. So you have to change the hard drive to IDE. Um, and the good news is, is that the V Edge is the same thing as the V Bonds. So what I'm gonna do is set the V Edge, and I'm actually just gonna change the name just so that we know it's a V Bond. And I'm gonna take the management interface, connect it to our management switch. I'll take G00, send it to this switch. Okay, I'll make this look pretty later once I have my vSmart in there. Um, let's start it. And console in. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait until we see system ready, which shouldn't take too long. I'll just go ahead and pause the video. Um, oh, actually, it's right there anyway. So it's admin, uh, it's still initializing. You know, I will I will pause the video, just, just wait till we get that system ready prompt. Okay, you can see on my screen now that we have this system ready. So again, the username admin, password admin. We have to set an initial password. Okay, and now we have a, um, Bootstrap configuration, again, for the V Edge. Whoops, not count V. Well, looks like that somehow worked. Um, but okay. System. And host name, I'm gonna call this one VBond1. System IP. I'm gonna say 3.3.3.3. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna call it 1.1.1.3. Again, arbitrary, this is like a router ID. Uh, site ID is one. Organization name. And then clock time zone. New York, okay. Now here's where we set VBond to itself. And this is how it knows that it is the VBond. The three, local. The local keyword is what does it. So now what we need to do is we need to set up our VPN parameters. So let's go ahead with VPN zero to start with. And I'm gonna take ETH zero out of it. Whoops, sorry, no, int ETH zero. We'll go into int GE zero zero. 
and I'll give it the IP address. Again, we specify the tunnel interface. We do NCAP, IPsec, um, allow service all, allow service netconf, allow service SSH, no shut. And in VPN zero, we need to add the default route. And I did 199.11254, okay? So now we go into VPN 512, which is our management interface, our management VPN. This time Ethernet zero will be in there. We'll do IP address 10, 0, 80, 13. And I don't need a default route here because I don't actually need to get to it from, um, from outside the GNS3 environment. So I'll just commit quit. Um, only one panel interface with color default allowed. What did I do? Do show in uh, G00. You know what? That might have been a typo on my part. So let's go back into VPN zero. Uh, no int GE00. I think this is case sensitive. Um, you can see in here, I did the show interface. You can see it's GE00. So I believe this is case sensitive. Um, it doesn't yell at you for some reason, which I thought was weird. But IP address 199.113 slash 24. Uh, it's a tall interface. The encapsulation is IPsec. Allow all. Allow netconf. Allow SSH. Okay, let's see if that'll work with the commit. It did, okay. So, don't do a capital G, <laughs> it is case sensitive. All right, so now that we have our interfaces up and we can do a show int, all right, so we can see that our interfaces are up. Now what we need to do is add the vBond to vManage. So, let's go ahead back to our vManage here and let's go to configuration devices controllers add controller we're going to add a vbond so we're going to add it from 199.113 again another thing is kind of confusing it says management ip address but you need to add this one not the v the vrf um 512 address username password Make sure generate CSR is clicked, which it is by default, and then hit add. Okay, so now what we need to do is go to certificates, controllers. We can see our VBond, which has no certificate installed. In view CSR. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. And now we can go to the vManage shell, which we are already in, and we need to generate the certificate. So, gotta do a, a couple things here. The first thing is we need to go into v, and we need to create a file. We're gonna call it vbond.csr. And I'm just gonna copy that whole thing in. Okay. Exit out of it. All right. So now we can see we have our vbond.csr along with all of our other files. And I'll add this command into the um, into the description below. But you can see here what we're going to do is we're just going to sign the vbond.csr file with our root. Uh, rootca.pem and rootca.key, and then we're going to create a vbond.crt file. So once we do that, we'll see we have a vbond.crt file. 
So we'll cap the contents of it. Okay, so now I need to copy this. And now I go back into vManage and install certificate, copy, paste. So this should look very familiar if you watched the vBond video. Um, it's, the, it's the same exact process. Schedule of success. So now we go back in to devices, controllers, and where certificate and status is installed. So that's it. Um, if we wanted to, actually, I guess I could show this just before I go on to the vSmart vBond. If we want to, we need to show orchestrator connections. And uh, let me do that again a little bit nicer. Okay, so we can see the vManage. Um, we are connected to it. So in the next video, I will install our vSmart.